Hey there, Ben Lipper here. It has just arrived. I've been waiting, oh, I don't know, like since May, but my pneumatics kit just arrived in the mail and I thought, hey, why don't we open it together? So, um, I've already cut the tape because I, I was a little excited when I first got it, but let's go ahead and see what this thing looks like. So, when you open it up, it's like just a box, just like you'd expect. And inside is like this kit that we've been seeing on Vex's, oh, you can't even see the whole thing. There we go. This kit we've been seeing on Vex's website forever. You take it out, it actually comes out in like this super nice, like plastic carrier case. Um, I probably won't keep it in here, like this is a little awkward to use, but it looks pretty nice. Um, let's take a look at how it actually works though. Um, basically what I wanna do in this video is show you how, how do you use pneumatics. Um, it's a new system for at least most Vex IQ people. It's been in V5 and FRC and all kinds of other robotics competitions forever. Um, but IQ, it's like brand new. So, um, what is pneumatics and how do you use it? So here's my kit. Uh, it's not a great camera angle. Let me adjust it some more. There we go. Um, so here's my kit basically. And it's got all kinds of cool components in it. These are like kind of the fundamental part of it. It's this pneumatic cylinder. So basically the whole idea of pneumatics is you've got something that looks something like this and you put air in here and it like extends and then you put air in here and then it retracts. Like that, that's what's supposed to happen, that's how it works. This would be attached to like a claw. So like, you know, maybe I've got a Vex IQ claw here, it opens and now it closes. And so now I've got a clean way to pick something up. Maybe, oh, I don't wanna, I'll pick up my computer mouse, right? And so I open, it closes, and now I can pick it up um, and drop it. So pneumatics, they're super cool. They got lots of really cool applications, but how do you actually hook them up? Um, it came with all this Vex tubing, which I think is the only legal tubing. I happen to have a bunch of other tubing though, and I wasn't—I want to cut this up when I like put it on my robot for real. So I have a bunch of other tubing that is not legal, so I'm gonna use that. Um, but basically, what you do is you've got this thing. This is your pneumatic reservoir or pneumatic tank. So this is like where you store your air. So this is—it looks like a tiny soda can. Um, you can see compared to my hand, like this thing's not very big. There's not a lot of air in here. But basically, all you do to connect these tubes, you like kind of stick them on like that. And you just push and it seals just like so. All right, cool. So there's my tank. It's got like some pins I can attach it to my robot if I want. You're limited to two tanks per robot, just so you know. Um, and then these are kind of like the really cool parts. This is how you uh, control your cylinders, basically. So um, this, like, it's got the hole to plug into the brain, right? And this is like a new connector. If you've seen V5 before, you're like, hey, that looks familiar. Um, it's a three-wire connector, but basically it just plugs into this big honking thing, and this big honking thing is the compressor. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. This is like the actual air pump. If you've ever seen like a bike pump, this has basically a little tiny bike pump inside. I haven't pulled it apart yet, obviously. I just opened it. Uh, I don't know exactly what mechanism it uses inside, but if I take a guess, it's probably relatively similar to a bike pump um, and how it works inside. So it's got like one little output here. And the deal is this guy, oh, you can't see it super well, but there's like six little nubs, three on each side. There's um, one over here and one over here. And all you do is you hook up the little nubs to here um, for, there's two nubs that are the outputs. The top and the bottom are the outputs and the middle is the input. And so basically all you do is, you know, you take, say I wanna make this thing go in and out um, like that, right? So all you do is you'd hook up this tube here to like one of the outputs. That looks good. Um, let's do another tube over here to another output. And then basically this guy, he's got like a little nub on the tip right here. That is gonna be going to your inputs. Ooh, I got a different color tubing this time. That's exciting. There we go. So I'm just gonna hook that guy up to the input. So. If all goes well, when I power this thing up, what's gonna happen is this little guy's gonna run for a while and he's gonna be able to extend and retract. Ooh, I can already feel it, it's like fighting me. Um, extend and retract the cylinder. It might be a good idea for me to put an air tank in here also. Basically right now, when I switch it, this guy's, I'm gonna have to turn this guy on to like pump it out. But if I have an air tank here, then it can like pump out on its own. So how you do that is you got this nice, little kit of, I don't even know what all of them are, but there's these T's. So like if you take a look, this is like the, it's called a T because it like looks like the letter T, right? See, if it's like a capital T. But basically all you do is you put the 
it just connects three tubes together. So I would put like that guy on one side. It doesn't care where you plug anything in. It's it's not picky. You just kind of plug them all in, and you're like, all right, now I've got air, and it's coming out of my air compressor, right? This is producing air. It's gonna flow. Oh whoa, hang on. We're connecting these. This is like all floppy. That's weird. Um, but there we go. It comes in here. It's gonna flow through here, and then when it's ready, it's now able to go through either of these guys in my pneumatic cylinder, um, which then opens or closes depending on what I decide I want to do with it. Now, um, how would I code this thing? Because if you just plug this into the Vex IQ brain and try to use driver control, it is not going to happen. Let's see if we can check out how coding works for this. Um, I'll mention that you have to get the newest version of Xcode. I tried to install it the first time. It didn't work, so I just reinstalled it. So hopefully it works properly. But there we are. Um, I'm going to program it as a first generation brain. You can do it just the same way with the second generation brain. This, all you have to do is you hit add a device, um, and it is, ooh, there's a new device. Hey, check it out. It's a pneumatic. Um, it's a bit of a funny name for it. It's a pneumatic. Uh, let's say that I plugged it in on port 8, because port 8 doesn't have anything good. Uh, you'll notice there's like two cylinders that you could have plugged in. I think I've, I've only plugged in one, so... Um, you could name it like whatever you want. So maybe this is like the arm, and I'm gonna call this. Uh, actually, this would be more like arm. I don't know what this would be like. I'll call it pneumatic. Or um, this would be the arm, and maybe like this is gonna be another cylinder I install on the claw. And so now I've got one cylinder that like. Really, a pneumatic arm is pretty awful. But maybe I've got like a little tiny pneumatic arm and then I've also got a pneumatic claw. Hit done, and boom, you have now some new blocks you've probably never seen before. Um, why is that still called? There we are. Done. So, you can grab this block, and all this does is exactly what you think it does. This is the thing that like extends and retracts the cylinder. So like, you know, if you're trying to make this guy go in and out. This is what you use for that, right? You'd set it to extend if you want it to like go like that, and retract if you want it to go like that. Sometimes you'll find it's reversed, and so there's like this button right here. You just like hit that, and ooh, look, it reversed. That's cute. Um, and so you can do that if you need to. That's pretty easy. The other thing that you might be interested in is if you actually want some air, right? You start the match, and you have like no air. And so what you do, you have to set the pneumatic pump to on. And this pump. Uh, you actually don't really have to do anything, so you just like set it to on and leave it. The reason is this pump has a like pressure sensor doohickey in it, and so when it reaches its maximum pressure, it's gonna like stop pumping and be good to go. You don't have to like time it perfectly so it turns on and off. I was hoping one thing that I was hoping they would do, but it makes sense that they didn't, is I oops that's not it. Um, I was really hoping that in sensing they would add some blocks that are like the pressure of your pneumatic system so you could like tell how much air you had and make decisions based on that during auto or something but um that doesn't seem to be a feature so that's basically it like you could make it go extended and maybe you want to like wait one second and then you want it to like go retracted so super cool super simple to control um how are they useful? That is a good question. I have not actually put this on a robot. Like, I, I literally just opened the box in front of you. So, uh, I can tell you these are usually super good on claws or like little things that only have two positions, right? If it's either open or closed, if it's like either up or down. Um, things this year that it's probably gonna be good for. If you're like trying to do an open closed thing for like a claw that you're trying to grab the cubes with, that might work well. I don't really like claws though. Um, you could also use it if say you, wanted to have an intake though that could switch between green and purple. So you've got, you'd probably use the shorter ones. You might use the shorter ones. Um, there's value in both. But say that like up is purple and then down is green and you could have it just go up and down, up and down. By the way, you can actually tee multiple of these together. So, you know, you want twice the power, you do this and there's these little connectors and you can actually hook two of these up to just one port on uh, the, this is called the manifold usually. I don't know what Vex calls it now. But in general, this is called the manifold. So you just hook up to one port on the manifold. You could have two, you could have four, you know, as many as you have T's for um, in that little box. But that's super cool because now it means you don't need extra. It will take more air, but the, like you've got your air tanks, you've got the same amount of air. So it, it seems like it could be very useful. 
So, let's see, other things you'd use it for. I wanted to make a pneumatic drivetrain forever, so I'm kind of excited to give that a try. I'll post a video of it when I do, and it's gonna be ridiculous and useless, but it'll be pretty cool. So I'll show you how that works when that comes out. Um, yeah, I think the biggest thing this year is gonna be that, or maybe you have some kind of pretty sweet sorter. I can imagine like this is like on a like flapper, have a flapper, like a, it flaps back and forth, yeah, a flapper. And so like, you know, it's in green mode right now and then it has a color sensor and it quickly switches over to purple mode and then it switches back to green and it's like sorting them between a top tray and a bottom tray or a left tray and a right tray. Um, there's some really cool potential there as well. The best part about pneumatics is they don't count as a motor, so like you've got your ten mo or sorry, six motor limit, and you just can use as many pneumatics as you want. You are limited in the number of air tanks you can use, um, but other than that, like, have fun. So, overall, I'm super stoked for pneumatics. I haven't used it on a robot yet. Um, if you're interested in seeing robots, there's a link under this video. I've got a robot, the first robot I'm planning to put pneumatics on. Uh, the link under this video will get you details on that robot pre-pneumatics and then hopefully as soon as I get pneumatics, um, I'll also if you click that link, I will also send you details on my first pneumatic robot. So I'm super excited for this. This thing is going to be like crazy. I think this will totally change how we do Vex IQ. Um, I know it looks like a rat's nest right now, but it is going to be awesome. So um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. As always, like and subscribe, and I cannot wait to see what we all build with pneumatics this year.